Good morning, I'm Patricia Hall, and I am doing a presentation on the poem by Philip Levine entitled, What Work Is. The subject of my poem is a working man. I got the impression he was a day laborer, someone who is accustomed to manual labor, someone who uses his hands and his body to accomplish his goals. As such, he feels that he works very hard. When he leaves work, his body is tired and sore from all the labor he has done. The other subject of my poem is the man's brother. The brother only appears in the man's mind as a thought. He is not physically present in the poem. The brother's life is a bit different than the main character. The brother has steady employment and enjoys singing opera. Um, he works a night shift so that he can study German so that he can sing Wagner opera. When we meet the main character, he is standing in line in the rain trying to attain employment. Um, the main character is very bitter and very negative. He anticipates, stand, as he's standing in the line, he anticipates being rejected for the job even before he even gets there. Um, in the opening lines of the poem, the main character asks if the reader knows what work is. Uh, in the tone that the author uses... Um, it comes across as, again, a very negative question, and the response that the main character gives to his own question is, if you're old enough to read this, then you know what work is, although you may not do it. I get the feeling that the reader, or that the main character feels that the that manual labor is the only form of labor. Um, as he is standing in line... Um, he begins to think about his brother. The impression I get of the man is that he loves his brother, but doesn't believe that the work that the brother does is actually work. Um, the man in the rain doesn't appreciate the work that his brother puts into his craft, and instead he ridicules his brother's form of opera. Um, he describes it as the opera you hate the most, the worst music ever invented. Um, because the man doesn't respect the way that the brother works, he discredits him. Um, what work is to some isn't always what it is to others. Work is defined as an activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or result. I've had people discredit my work. I'm a personal trainer, and while I may not do manual labor, I do work very hard. The man probably wouldn't respect my work either. I use my body, but not in the same way he does. And while the work I do can be challenging, it isn't grueling as manual labor can be. I do work hard, though. Most days I start work at 5 a.m., and I don't typically finish until 7.30 or later. Um, another way that my job is difficult is in the way that my job is 80% sales. Sales can be difficult in and of itself. You have to make people desire to spend their hard-earned money. And because of this, you have to figure out what's going to set you apart from everybody else. Um, the majority of the time, it's the relationship you build with your clients. Um, and then there's the actual workouts. So everybody's body plateaus after a certain time when they're working out. And if their bodies aren't plateauing yet, then their minds might be doing the same workout over and over again. So because of this, I have to constantly stay educated. I have to attain certifications. I have to, I, I attend three to five different certifications a year to try to stay abreast of my industry. So I work very, very, very hard. Um, this poem pointed out to me the difference between optimism and pessimism. The main character is, like I said, a very pessimistic, negative person um, who we find out at the end of the poem is actually the one who doesn't know what work is. Even though he asks you, do you know what work is? He's the one who really doesn't know what work is because he's so close-minded. Um, and then you have the optimistic person who I glean as the brother in the story. The brother has steady employment and a hobby. Um, it doesn't say that he actually gets paid for his singing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's a hobby um, that he's so passionate about that he's learning a foreign language so that he can he can do it better. Um, so I think that in reality, that everybody has a different way of working. And it's not for anybody to discredit one person's way of working from another. Um, people tend to blame others for their own situations. And I feel like the, the man in the poem, um, while he didn't hate his brother, and he did love his brother, and he did think fondly of his brother, like I said, he didn't think much of his brother's work. And when you discredit somebody else's form of work, you instead close your mind off to what work can be and what hard work can be. I really, really did enjoy this poem. I, I felt that it paralleled a lot in my life, and I hope that you enjoyed my oral presentation. Have a great day.